Hi folks and welcome to day two of setup week. Uh, so yesterday we installed WordPress using uh, a one-click installer that was part of a hosting package and um, today we're going to basically end up clicking this big blue get started customize your site button um, but first I'm going to go and explain to you the kind of core settings of WordPress. So down in the settings menu this is where you change um, the kind of key uh, facts about WordPress um, and there's various different sections to this. So I'm just going to have a quick whiz through. So if you remember yesterday when we set up um, we put in a site title and tagline. They have appeared here. Um, so this is a title and a tagline and if I just go and I'll open the site in a new tab and we'll see where it says press up, press up setup week, a week of WordPress setup. Um, that's a combination of these two settings here. There's the URL, so this is where the site lives. In this case, we're on blog.pressups.com. Uh, it's you wouldn't really change those unless you were doing something really technical and moving your site uh, somewhere else. There's an email address. This gets notified when. Uh, new users are created or when people reset their passwords or when other critical site-wide things happen. So this is used for admin purposes only. Um, there's a membership thing which specifies that people can register. I would leave that turned off unless you know what you're doing and you really want to create a membership site. There is a default user role. Most of these you can leave as they are. Um, it's detected a time zone but we could choose a time zone of our choosing. UTC is the same as uh, GMT, effectively. It stands for Universal Coordinated Time, um, but I, th I believe it's French, which is why it's UTC and not UCT. Uh, date format you can choose. It's conveniently chosen a nice one. Um, so yeah, you can customize that if you want to. This funny code here, this is, uh, you can ignore that. Don't worry about that. You can choose from these alternatives, and if you know what this is, then you can customize it to your heart's content. Time format equally, you can choose 24 hour or uppercase the PM, or if you, again, if you understand the codes, do what you like. And um, you can specify what week it starts on. Uh, one really cool thing note up here it says, How do you press up to admin? Um, there is actually an uh, this, when you install WordPress, it's usually in English United States mode, or actually in the latest version, you can choose what your language is. And um, there is actually an English UK translation, um, so I'm going to change that. Always when you're saving these settings, click Save Changes. And uh, so our Howdy Press Ups Admin now turns to How Are You Press Ups Admin. Um, so it's all gone a little bit angli anglicized on us, um, which is kind of cool. Um, great, so there's a few settings. What I'm just going to do quickly is bounce off into, if I go back to the dashboard, um, remember that big blue button, I'm going to click that. And this launches a cool tool called the Customizer. And what the Customizer lets you do is it lets you tweak some of the settings of your site um, and see the changes, uh, see your site update in real time as you change that. So this is great if you want to change your site title and tagline. We can actually see this happen kind of as we type. So uh, let's decide that actually a week's not going to be long enough, which is quite possibly true. I'm going to change this to uh, 10 days. So I'm going to delete this. And you'll see immediately I start typing. This is updated over on the right-hand side. So, and as I type, that updates over here. So this customizer is a great way of, of making changes. We can change some of our settings. And then our theme can control some other options as well, which we'll, we'll come back to in another press up. Um, we can choose not to display this header text here too. That's just now completely vanished. So a few options here. Um, the critical thing about the customizer is, uh, or this is handy to know that you can collapse this. And because our theme is responsive, it's all adjusting automatically the size of things. Um, but the key thing to know is that if you want to you can make all sorts of changes in here. I can change umpteen options in here. Um, nothing actually gets saved unless I click the blue save and publish icon. So I can click that or I can click X and that will take me back to here without saving. So there we go. There's your first WordPress settings screen and uh, your first look at the customizer. You can also get to the customizer at any time from the appearance menu by going to customize and it's only available to admins. I've only got a few seconds left. I hope that was useful.